All right, it's another day, another dollar, as they say. I'm headed to work. You can see my my dog is ready to go. Stella's ready to go. I've got my little blue Subaru 360 van tapped up here on cue, ready to go. I've been driving it the last couple days, being that my house and my garage is completely under construction. That's the flooring for our basement. My electric scooter doesn't really all my recycling and my car parts and my dog and everything I need so I'm taking a little two-stroke van to work which is not a bad thing and oh something came in the mail speaking of two-stroke vans and Subaru 360s one of the most important things is brake wheel cylinders pop that out of that bag for you so this is one of four 15 sixteenths read it on there Can you see that it's kind of hard to see it says 15 16 on Subaru 360 vans and trucks the wheel cylinders are very specific I've gone through this many times there's a leading and a trailing for each side left and right so each wheel cylinder is specific they're not remanufactured I mean they're not reproduced, they're remanufactured. If you have old ones, you can send them in and get them refurbished. They're now up to about 150 bucks per unit to get redone. And I have been scrounging around, digging. I dug up a set out of dirt once, out of axle I found buried. Um, he had a really hard time resleeving them because they were so rusted and pitted. But... Um, I do have a secret stash of those, so for the next project, the next van I restore, I do have a set of front wheel cylinders, which is crucial. So let's load up this little van and head to work, shall we? We got a really busy day today. I think you're going to love it. We got some stuff planned. Um, every day that I go to work is a blessing. At least I like to think so. <laughs> Come on, Stell. Let's go. Let's hop in the back of our van here. We got the seat folded down so Stella can just hop right in there. Let's pick up our our precious wheel cylinders. We'll put those right there. Come on, you gotta hop up in there. Come on, let's go. There we go. You ready to go to work? Oh yes, you are. Okay, we got our little blue van warming up here. It looks great in the sunshine. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today. I've got my shop dog in the back, all curled up. My doors is rattling here. I gotta fix that. It's not sealed tight. Can't have rattles. All right, so I'm gonna crawl in the cockpit here. Oh my goodness, we got a moth. Look at that. How did that get in here? Come on, guy. Oh, oh, that's gonna be a problem. There, go, 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 go. Good. All right. Let's get going. Reverse. And away we go. Oh, there's nothing worse than being dampened on my beautiful morning drive, being stuck behind a garbage truck. That is the worst. Oh, well. Oh. Once you get your soul sucked out, your spirit's dampened by a garbage truck, it feels so good to be on an open road in a little Subaru 360 van. How cool is that? It's going to be a good day. So our super reliable little blue van made it to work, parked it next to a customer's van and also my little key van, my modern mystery micro van in the back there. So. The vans are all in good company. Let's get to work. We've got some customer cars to work on today. I was excited for what we're going to work on today. And look, it just showed up. It's an old Buick. Actually, it's not that old. 81, I think. 3.8 liter Buick. Either a Regal or the Sabre. Let's take a look. Still, come. You got to get out of the way. Come on. Come on. Come on, old lady. Let's bring in this car we're gonna work on today. Still, come, all the way. Look at that, that's beautiful. 
A little more. Right there. All right, so we're working on a really special car. These cars weren't so special back in the day. This is a 79 Buick Century. It looks like a fastback or a cross between a fastback and a wagon. I'm going to give you a good eyeful here. Beautiful car. You don't see these at all anymore. It's got real chrome bumpers, white wall tires, two-tone paint with a trim strip, and it shines. It's in good shape. It is a 3.8 liter V6 American car with wheel, uh, what do you call those? Beauty rings. Sealed beam headlights with uh, eyebrows and we're doing a little work on the engine today. So the thermostat's been sticking the radiator is going to get replaced and oil change and Fan clutch is getting replaced. So this has the what you might call semi electronic Rochester dual jet. I was trained on how to repair these carburetors back in the day. They have an electronic needle and seat I believe crazy carburetors they're half electronic half mechanical when they work they work great when they don't they work terrible this car is completely choked with emission stuff but it's what it is I think it's less than 100 horsepower but uh, for a 3.8 v6 of this era 1979 that's probably not too bad um, let's take a look at the interior power brakes power steering air conditioning in a full, well, this is not considered a full size car. Look at this interior. Sort of a houndstooth cloth interior, wind up windows, and a dash that you just don't see anymore. The size of that cloth. Still smells like an American car. Of course, it's got a full back seat with the manual lock knobs. Beautiful. Takes really good care of his car. Perfect headliner. It's got the fast back or sport back rear end. Fully carpeted. You just don't see that anymore. Body by Fisher. Remember seeing that? Really neat. Look at the gauges and the switch wear. That's where intermittent wipers were new back in 1979. We have a little gauge console there, aftermarket, climate control, and the old radio with the cassette. I think. What is it? No, it doesn't have a cassette. It's just AM FM. Again, it's a 79 Buick Century wood grain 24,000 original miles it's really neat really fun to work on something like this so we're gonna make the guy happy get his cooling system figured out and uh, we'll move on to the next car but just wanted to show you guys this modern relic really really neat <laughs> Have you driven a Buick today? All right, so there's a couple things on this old Buick that I may have overlooked that are pretty, pretty cool. One thing is with the rear doors, you notice there's pop-out vent windows here on the back of the car. Let me show you why that is. Look at this door. Look closely. Look at the size of this window. That window glass is larger than the door. There's no way that glass can roll down into the door. Hence, that's a fixed glass. You'd never know that. There's no window winder. So if you're sitting in the back seat of this 1979 Buick Century, you would just simply pop out your window, get some fresh air. 
Now, I don't know who thought of that, but that's not a good idea. <coughs> All right, so let's take another look at another special feature on this old Buick. You think it's a fastback. It looks like a fastback. You got the glass. It looks like it could even be a hatchback. It's not. It's a trunk. Let's open it up here. It has a nice, large trunk. The trunk goes all the way to the back seat. The back seat does not fold down. It has these rods for torsion bars that suspend the trunk, like um, support rods, I guess. You can adjust them three different ways for how much tension you want to keep the trunk open. A nice big trunk with a spare tire off to the side there. Here's the old jack instructions very well kept very nice not a fastback all right so we're putting a new radiator in this old buick you can see this old radiator here has been leaking for quite some time it's been uh weeping around a lot of the connections there on the side tanks i'm not usually a fan of putting in used radiators but I guess these are hard to find. So we're gonna try a, a good used radiator, untested, and I'm gonna change out the fan clutch and let's see if we can make this thing stay cool. All right, so we're still working on our Buick. We got the radiator in, thermostats in, the new hoses are in. I've got it up in the air, so we've got a good underside view. I thought it would be fun to take a look at an older car from the underside. We don't see that much anymore. It's an old-fashioned rear-wheel drive car. And uh, we'll just start at the front here with our chrome bumper, our aerodynamic aid here, which is just a piece of rubber. We have a pretty good-sized sway bar. We have our V6 engine, which you can see is fairly well coated with protective grease. I am going to grease all the Zerk fittings. Cars don't have Zerk fittings anymore. We've got old-fashioned, non, what do you call that, rack and pinion. This is old-fashioned ball circulation power steering pump where we have an, uh, a pitman arm and an idler arm, or let me reverse that, an idler arm and a pitman arm. We've got front disc brakes, ball joints, it is rear wheel drive, so there's no drive axle up front. We have coil spring suspension. We have our crossover exhaust, which crosses over, and the driver's side exhaust manifold crosses over and goes into the passenger side exhaust manifold. A terrible, terrible design, but that's what they have. It goes into the exhaust manifold on the passenger side, and then it comes out and goes into the old fashioned rabbit pellet catalytic converter. It looks like rabbit pellets in there. They're like charcoal pieces that are all coated with uh, precious metal. Not the new kind of catalytic converters that's high flow that looks like a honeycomb. This is full of pellets. Very restrictive, very old, very original. You can see it's huge. It's at least ah, two feet wide. It's the original GM catalytic converter. And as we run back here, we'll see that we have no rust in any of the floorboards whatsoever. We have a Turbo 350 or a Turbo 200. I forget what this car has. It's an automatic transmission made by General Motors. I don't think it's a Turbo 350. It's the one below that. Three speed, no overdrive, if I'm not mistaken. We have a drive shaft that goes to a rear end, which is sprung by coil springs which looks like they've been replaced we have a cross mounted muffler here before the gas tank this is just stuff you don't see on a daily basis anymore it's all front wheel drive stuff and then we make it all the way back to our chrome bumper i thought it'd be kind of fun oh and this gas tank is filled behind the license plate you can see the fill neck goes right up there and if i was to push the license plate like that that's how you'd fill the fuel. That's a little fun fact for you. We have our five mile an hour bumpers, which are basically shock absorbers. There is no frame accordion 
or compression. It's just the bumpers, and the bumpers are metal. Stuff you just don't see anymore, but it's the way it used to be. Pretty cool. E-brake cable goes to a trunnion here. Cable just runs all the way along to the foot pedal. We have our gear shift here. Our brake lines and fuel lines run along the frame. Again, we have coil springs with shocks. Old technology, I tell you. All right, let's get this thing serviced and maybe we can take it for a little drive. Okay, so the old radiator's in the trunk. The customer can dispose of that as he wants. We're gonna start this thing up and let it run a little bit. And, uh, oh, I need a seat cover. I don't wanna get my greasy bibs on those beautiful seats. Okay, so I got a nice soft towel that I can sit on and not worry about getting any grease onto this beautiful semi houndstooth cloth material from the old Buick. Let's see if it starts up. Put the key in. Oh boy, that's got a buzzer. And let's put on the brake. Look at the nice lighting it has. When you open the door, the footwells are all lighted. The dome light is lighted. Beautiful headliner. The smell, just the, the smell that I'm getting is old American car smell. I wish I could bottle that. I'm older than I look, and I remember this from my parents' cars. It's just a, it's a wonderful old uh, vinyl and um, whatever materials are in this car smell. It's got a carburetor, so I'm going to give it a couple little pumps. There we go. And I'm going to pull my door shut. We're going to back her out a little bit. Let's see if... Where is the gear shift? There's a gear shift indicator. Went into reverse. That's good. Back out without hitting anything and let her warm up a little bit. She's got fresh oil. She's been freshly greased. I gotta check the transmission fluid and make sure the radiator stays cool. So what do we got here for a temperature gauge? Oh, I guess we have to go aftermarket. That's right there. Doesn't have a temperature gauge. It has an idiot light. All right, I'll pour out into the sun here. I can see my trusty pooch is over there sleeping under that car. So I'm not worried about running her over. All right, so we got the old Buick warming up here in the 80 degree sunshine of Portland, Oregon. You can see the chrome. You don't normally see chrome on wheels or fender arches or around the doors anymore. That's all gone. So it's a beautiful two-tone car. It has a new radiator, a new fan clutch, a new thermostat, hoses. I'm curious to see how and if it warms up. Oil's been changed. I'm going to top off the transmission and make sure everything's good. So we've checked and double checked everything on the Buick. It seems to be doing just fine. We did increase the temperature of the thermostat from 160 to 190 and she's running a little warmer than normal which might be good kind of bake out all the all the sludge put on the new hood strut we're gonna shut the hood and take her for a drive whoops somebody got a greasy fingerprint on there that's a hood for you and there's a hood ornament you don't see those anymore let's take her for a drive Okay. Don't get through this very often. I think our buzzer is broken, which is actually a good thing. Let's do a quick check on our gauges here. We've got good charge, good temperature, and good oil pressure. Pretty good. Let's look at this old stereo. All right. Let's see. We have no air conditioning today. This car still has the original R12, and I think the compressor's out. Which for a 40, how many years old car is this now? I think it's a 40 year old car. 42. Let's make sure there's nobody coming. Oh, and there is somebody coming this way. This is 
very smooth, I tell you. Just like I remember. Very plush. Oh, the horn works. You gotta be careful. It's very touchy. Really a nice car to drive. Very pleasant. Wow. That brings back some memories. We had a Buick Century wagon growing up. Same color. A little older. Let's put it in reverse. Let's back up. There we go. Just slide her into that spot. And we'll get out and do one last walk around. Buzzer doesn't go off. Oh well. Really a sweet car. That was America's finest back in the late 70s, early 80s. Don't remember what these stickered for. Probably ten thousand dollars, I imagine, brand new. Eight to ten maybe. Beautiful old car. Really a, a blessing and an honor to work on one of these once again. So much fun. Thanks for watching.